The standoff between unionist and construction company Grocon is expected to intensify again this week. The company has rejected the CFMEU's latest offer to resume talks. Our reporter Peter Carline is at the site this morning. Peter, what's happening down there at the moment? Good morning, Karina. Well, you might be able to see a little bit behind me. There's still a lot of police down here at site. There was a roster day off in the construction industry yesterday, which meant a three-day hiatus from this dispute that's dragged on for nearly two weeks. Police turned out again in force about 10 o'clock last night and sealed off the site. They brought in uh, the mounted squad and also the dog squad as well this morning. And they've, I've heard that they've also managed to sort of smuggle in, so to speak, a, a small busload of Grocon workers onto the site. But um, as we've, we've heard again today, there's very much no end in sight to this dispute. Both sides are still talking tough and it's as though they're speaking almost different languages. Grocon says that um, it wants the blockade to end, that it's illegal and uh, the union's very much of the, the firm opinion that it wants to return to the negotiating table and it will stand down its union members uh, if Grocon were to agree with that. Uh, we heard from the union's uh, representative, Bill Oliver, a short time ago and here's a little of what he had to say. Uh, we thought that if we took out, he was saying on Friday that he didn't agree with the 14-day moratorium in it, that he didn't, he didn't agree that after 14 days we could go back and take, uh, take more peaceful demonstrations. Uh, we agreed to take that out and we, we were hoping that that would bring Daniel Grohl around the table and we would try and resolve this. But unfortunately yesterday he doesn't want to do that. That's Bill Oliver from the CFMEU. Peter, uh, Bill Oliver also went on to talk about the Victorian government saying that he hadn't received one call from the Victorian government and that's despite the, the state government in Victoria uh, also taking court action against the CFMEU. Yes, that's right, Karina. Bill Oliver and the CFMEU said he said that he hadn't heard from the government as yet. You're right, the Victorian government has now uh, said that it will join the Supreme Court action uh, with Grocon, the construction company, against the CFMEU. And the Master Builders Association has also said that it's considering action against the union as well. Um, so Bill Oliver just saying that he hasn't heard from the government and that he'd very much like to resume negotiations, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen either anytime soon. Peter Carline, we'll leave it there for now.